Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you have any problems connecting your Legend Gamer Mini or Legend Gamer Pro to your device, in this video I try to help you out and figure out how you can solve this problem. The first thing that you need to check out if the device itself has of course an in working internal battery. What you need to do is power on the device itself and as you can see over here, the LED will go on. And that's the indication that you know that your battery is full. Yeah. The console itself has been connected to your television and you have a signal. But sadly, you can still see that the LED over there from the Bluetooth connection is still blinking. So the first step that we're going to do is try to see if we can reconnect it wirelessly before we go and doing any settings configurations. Okay, the first step that you can try out is hold your play on one button. As you can see, it's still searching for a connection. Hold it. This is more like the hardware that you can shut down and as you can see, the LED goes off now. Pressing it down, holding it for a couple of seconds and you will see that the LED will come on and it goes into the Bluetooth search function. If it doesn't work with your signal and it is still not connected with the game console, then we go to the next step. At Games will give you the special USB cable with the same connections you can see over here. The first one goes here in the back of your system itself. And the other one goes in the back of your Legend Gamer Mini or Legend Gamer Mini Pro. And of course we're going to need to use this connection. Okay, so now we're going to try the system just with the cable. Alright, so everything is connected now with the cable. And in my case, I can navigate. If this doesn't work, what you need to do is shut down the Bluetooth again by holding the player one button. And most of the time, they will fix your problem. So now we can finally go to the settings menu. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to the top menu. You can reach it very easy when pressing the Add Games button, for example. But let's go to Wireless Pairing. This is what we're going to need to do. Okay, when we're going to refresh, you can see nothing has been found because we have shut down the Bluetooth function. So you need to know for sure that it's power on. I know the LED needs to be blinking very fast, so it's searching for a signal. When we're going to try to refresh, it will indicate the product by a special name. Okay, so it took some time to get this device recognized. Now we're going to press the control deck by pressing A. Press A again because we need to connect it. And that's it what you need to do. It will take some time for the pairing. It will go in three stages and when it's complete, it will show when it is complete. Okay, so the display itself says that the connection has been done. And as you can see, the LED is not blinking anymore. So when you go into the display itself, everything is like it should be. Device connected. So that is very well. So the next thing that we're going to do is plug out the USB cable over here. And it needs to be working now. That's it. You can dismiss and your Legends Gamer Mini or Pro version has been connected. All right guys, so this is the way how you need to connect the wireless option of your Legend Gamer Mini or your Pro. Keep in mind, if this doesn't work the first time, maybe that went something wrong, you can always go back into the menu and check it out and do it all over again. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family and I will see you in the next video.